Hey everybody, it's Mr. Brenner, and I have a pretty fun story to read to you today that takes place a long time ago, like almost 300 or 300 years ago. Um, let's get started, okay? This story is called Town Watch, and as you can see up here in the corner, oh, excuse me, there we go. As you can see here in the corner, it is historical fiction. Historical fiction is still fiction. It still is a story that people tell that didn't really happen and the characters are mostly made up, but it does have a lot of facts of history in it. Facts are things that we know are true or that we know happened. This is called Town Watch and it's about immigrant, somebody who was born in Germany, who is moving to the United States so this is, as it says here, more than 300 years ago, before the United States was even a country. But they still had some of the same problems that the United States has today. And they are still thinking about how to solve problems together. So let's read and see if we can find out how did people 300 years ago or more make laws to keep each other happy and safe? How did they make rules together? Okay, it's called Town Watch by Juana Salazar. The salty sea air bit Hans' nose. His voyage from Germany to the United States had been a long one. Hans grabbed his bag and walked slowly behind his parents off the ship. His two younger sisters followed close behind him. He knew many days of travel still lay ahead. Philadelphia, his dad cried. It means city of brotherly love. We will make our new home there. Wagons carried Hans and his family from New York to Philadelphia. The year was 1700. Dust swirled in the air. It stung Hans's eyes and got into his nose and mouth. Just when he thought he couldn't stand another day of travel, Hans saw the town of Philadelphia up ahead. A wide grin crossed his face. So they are clearly on a boat here, even though it says that there's wagons. I don't understand how that works, but maybe we'll find out, okay? Philadelphia was a busy place. Horse buggies and wagons clomped in every direction. People carried bundles of different sizes. Hans wondered what was inside them. He wondered about many things, but he was too shy to ask questions. He thought that if he stood quietly and watched, many of his questions would be answered. Hans and his family quickly found their new home. It was near the busy center of town. Hans didn't mind that the house was small. He knew that many new opportunities lay ahead. The next night, Hans's father met with many of their new neighbors. Hans watched the candle flame flicker near his bed as he drifted off to sleep. He wondered what stories his father would have to share. There is a lot of history going on in this story. Here are a couple things about history that I know that this story is true. There is a lot of people who were from Germany that lived in Philadelphia 300 years ago. It wasn't just people who spoke English, like people from England. There were also Germans. And also, 300 years ago, they didn't know anything much about electricity yet. So there's that when he watched the candle flame, we know that that is true also. Um, let's see if there's any other questions you have. Maybe we can come up with some other questions about what it was like 300 years ago in Philadelphia, a place in the United States. And we're gonna find out about the problem that they have to solve very soon, okay? In the morning, Hans's father looked troubled. I can't believe it, his father said. The city is not safe. It is not the city of brotherly love after the sun goes down. Criminals roam the dark streets. They do harm to honest folk. There does not seem to be any justice. This is no way to live. Hans worried. Have we made the mistake? He asked his parents. Hans's mom smiled. We will make it work, she said. We will join the honest folk here and we will do what we can. In town later that day, Hans wanted to ask the other children what they could do to help the town, but he was too shy. He couldn't force the words to come out. He was still worried about his family. Yeah, 
and they didn't have cars, of course, 300 years ago. So everybody is walking around with horses and wagons behind it. At town meetings, Hans's father and many others talked about how to make Philadelphia safer. So what was the problem that the family noticed? And what is the family and all of the other families doing to solve the problem? Well, here's where it tells us. At town meetings, Hans's father and many others talked about how to make Philadelphia safer. They all came up with an idea to establish a safe streets plan. A person with a bell would be on watch and ring it when there was danger. Then others would come and help. Hans went with his father to the next town meeting. They rushed to get to the meeting on time. Hans's father tripped on an old horseshoe in the road. Get the town doctor for me, he cried. Hans raced to get the doctor. The doctor took Hans's dad to his office. I will have to stitch this wound, the doctor said. Come back for your father in an hour. But the meeting, Hans said, my father has ideas. Hans's dad looked him in the eye. Oh, you will have to go tell them. Now go quickly. Here they are. He tripped over a horseshoe and he has to have stitches in his foot. Not good. Hans made it to the meeting. He tried to talk, but no words came out. Beads of sweat broke out on his forehead. Have you ever been so nervous that people start sweating? That, that happens to me sometimes. What is it, son? Someone asked. Where is your dad? Slowly the words came. He's hurt, Hans said. Then Hans spoke of the safe streets plan. He told the people his father's idea to make their town watches legal and organized. Together, the people worked to pass the safe streets law. The town watchmen would enforce the laws of the city. Watchmen were assigned to patrol different parts of the city. This was the beginning of the first paid police force in Philadelphia. Then the people elected a chief to be in charge of the watchmen. Many people thought Hans's father would be a good candidate, but he was ready to return to his regular job. Hans and his family could now walk safely through the town at night. Hans couldn't wait to watch his new home truly turn into a city of brotherly love. So that was a really fun story about a town watch. Here he is in front of this really, it's called the podium. This is where people stand if they have to speak. And I'm pretty sure you all noticed this, but the problem that they had, they solved through a town meeting that had to pass a law. And that is still something that happens in some places in the United States and other parts of the world. All right. We have a couple different, uh, this one. We have a couple different pages in our um, activities today. Here's the first one. Town Watch is mostly about, here is some vocabulary you can use and these pictures will help you. Town Watch is mostly about, and then there's a picture. This looks like a picture of crime about how it was not safe in the street. Here's a picture of a meeting and this maybe is what happened after. Danger, meeting, safety, and watchman. Remember the watchman is the one with the bell. They weren't like modern police where they have a gun and they can actually arrest somebody if they see something. Instead, the watchman would ring a bell and everybody who heard it would come running and stop the crime that was happening. It was a little different. Then there's this page, point of view. Is this a third person point of view or is it a first person point of view? And remember which genre, was it fiction, nonfiction or poetry? And then I think this last page here, in the text, together the people work to pass the safe streets law. The town watchmen would enforce the laws of the city. Watchmen were assigned to patrol different parts of the city. It was the beginning of a modern police department. Do you have any questions about that? What are some questions you might wonder about that? For instance, when did police like start wearing badges? And when did they stop wearing bells? And maybe you could see, what did other cities at this time do before there was police? 
Like what, what did people do before there were people helping you keep the safe, the street safe at night? And then there are these two questions that I think you should be able to answer, okay? That is our activity for today. And you all have a wonderful weekend. I will see you all on Tuesday. All right, bye everybody.